CEO Louis Pass is now saying that upcoming big movie releases, including Christopher Robin and The Meg, are not going to be available on the app. The all-you-can-watch subscription service first crashed on Thursday after its parent company ran out of cash. And it's time to talk a little bit about MoviePass. MoviePass has just put out a brand new press release in which they reveal really to which depth they are scumbags and just how much of petulant little children MoviePass really do comprise of. That was my top movie guru, John Campia. Go check out his channel, talking about the demise of Movie Pass, and we're going to discuss it in this video as well. If you enjoy the content on my channel, go ahead, subscribe, click the notification bell so you're down when we drop videos. Also, if you really love my content, consider donating to a brother on Patreon. Let's get into it. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. This damn all everything, the sexiest hell host, Uncle Mont of this Life Gains channel. We're bringing you Life Gains movie money saving tips today. And we're talking about Movie Pass. And I covered Movie Pass months ago because of what they were doing in the marketplace. And I also mentioned at that time I didn't see how it was going to be sustainable. And we're going to talk about their dumb asses right now. But first, I got to put on the plus seven glasses of cinema sexy as hell. Work on skilling up this crap in my Thundercats t-shirt. Go check out shoplifegains.com. Read the blog, buy some gear. And if you're following me because you're building your YouTube channels, hit me up so I can put you with my man Tom Nash. He'll help you get your channel moving. So you guys might not know or you might know. But I've done um, cord cutting on this channel because it seems like your cable TV, your movie theater was just getting ridiculous, man. If you have a family that's an African village, you can forget going to the movies. But Movie Pass came out with something where you could go to one movie every single day, whenever you wanted to, for $10 a month. And Life Games told you because I had been in business so long that that shit was not going to be sustainable. Y'all laughed at me and said I didn't know what I was talking about but the bubble came to a burst. People was mad as hell this past week with the Mission Impossible dropping. And what did MoviePass tell some of those people? It told some of them that they was gonna be charged a surcharge fee. Why were they charging people a surcharge fee? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's simple. MoviePass has run out of damn money. And what have they done? They've been splitting stocks. They borrowed money. They've been doing all these shenanigans to keep the ship from going under. And now they're telling people tickets for the upcoming movies are not going to be available because you've got Mad coming out with Jason Satham, that big shark, and some other things coming out. And I don't know what to make of this other than we knew it wasn't going to be sustainable. Originally, that business, their business model is based on kind of gathering your information and selling it. And I guess in hopes of building a model and then maybe transitioning to up charges or giving you something else or trying to sell and that hasn't worked but over this past weekend the shit started crashing with them just simply because they ran out of money now their parent company that they do traded stocks on is called helios and they're probably going to be getting ready to split that stock again and try to weather this storm so warren buffett has taught me where well, other zig you zag so right now, while that stock is about to be like five cent or whatever, you might want to buy a couple of shares of it. And if you don't, you've never been in my video description link, I have a link for an app called Robinhood. You click it, get up there, check out Helios and buy some of that stock because they're not going to let this thing fail right now. So what I would do, I would get in there, buy a hundred stocks, hold it for about two months, and then, because they're going to rebound a little bit and then sell that shit. Some of the issues 
that have been plaguing this model that they try to do other than the fact that the business model was never set up to work this way is that they started trying to corner movie theaters because they were starting to get an influx of people i like the idea of ten dollars a month you can go to a movie every day and that was bringing people in but what happened with that was they was cornering movie theaters basically being the bully on the block saying that you're going to follow our demands on how we want things done and we're not going to have our people come to your movie theater so theaters like amc and some others have started doing their own subscription program but you're not able to see movies every day and it's definitely not ten dollars um i also did a video on cinemia of which that's in my video description go check them out cinemia allows you to see three movies and bring a friend a month, another viable option. We'll keep an eye on this story with MoviePass and hope that they can turn it around somehow. But I can just go ahead and tell y'all, $10 a month is not sustainable. Maybe they need to make it $20 a month. And if they did that, would that make you still buy it? Because $20 a month to go every day, if that's what you want to do, is great. The problem with what they're trying to do in the marketplace is how many people actually are going to a movie every day? Really, how many people are actually going to a movie on Saturday and Sunday? Not many people unless you're doing what I do with YouTube or you're just a big fanboy of movies. Not many people are doing that. Probably if you can come up with something where people can go to the movies with one other person four times a month and maybe pay 15 or 20 bucks, maybe $15. If you can work that out, that'd probably be the sweet place in the market. But until that point, we'll keep an eye on MoviePass and what their CEO is doing, and hopefully might, they can make a rebound and fix the shit that they got going on. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. If you made it this far in my video, you are a big fan of this channel. Please go join my Patreon, donate whatever you can to a brother. A lot of the videos I've done in the past couple of years have been underground cord cutting and those have been demonetized and a lot of those are just not, are being removed just because it violates YouTube's new mantra for how they want to do business. So I would love your support if you enjoy my content and helping get life gains. Go over there and check out shoplifegains.com. Again, read the blog, buy some gear. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.